Rose is one one of my favourites. It's such a darling. It's it is edible. That's that's how beautiful it smells. Now that you've said that, I've completely forgotten about the tuberose because it doesn't grow so well in interpret districts. It's more of a cool climate flower, but it's a beautiful scent. And yes, people are envious of anybody who can grow them in their garden. Envious? I yeah. didn't know that. Now, is Mr. Tuberose related to Mr. Glad? Same family? Um, oh, oh, you put me on the spot. I don't <laughs> I think they are related they from, from, from memory. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Lily of the Valley. Oh, right. That's yeah. another fragrant cut flower. Miss Viburnum. Yes, indeed. Mr. Water Lily. Indeed. Mr. Belladonna Lily. And we're coming towards the end of the list. Two more to go. Uh, Miss Bovaria. Ah, oh, yes, Bovaria. That's uh, another favourite of a lot of gardeners because it's hard to get. Is it? Yeah. Well, hard to get to grow in your garden. Oh, right. Yes. Well, speaking of hard to get and grow in your garden, the last one that I want to mention that's oh. fragrant, one of my favourite, Miss Daphne. Oh, yes, Miss Daphne. Yes. There's, luckily, there's a few different cultivars now where the plant doesn't die so readily. But uh -huh. Daphne had a reputation of being very tricky and touchy. and Especially in New South Wales, yes. I've been told. Yes. And very hard to get your hands on. Ah. as a plant and one one um, thing that I'm very surprised of is that why haven't they bottled it up and made it a perfume exactly like it's it's absolutely divine it is divine and exactly you know mixing um, mr. tuberose with miss Daphne and making them become friends if you're single you won't be if you're wearing that cologne Wow <laughs> I need to get my hands on it because I'm still single. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe oh. you won't be soon after this book comes oh, out. Well, so maybe, cool. maybe not. But uh, fragrance, if you want to impress a partner, men love fragrance. You know, it's not all about women. It's men too. If you don't want to wear it, spray it in your home, in your office. And um, hopefully, you know, if it's, if it's pet friendly, you can also spray your pet. <laughs> yes, you could spray your pet. You could, yeah, because yeah. My, I mean, I'm, uh, my pet needs a bit of spraying, actually, especially when it releases wind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like that smell in the morning. So, yeah. you know, if there's any pet-friendly fragrances out there, please get in touch, you know. Uh, workshops at Flowers by Mercedes, let me know, and I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. Well, this has been fabulous uh, talking to you, Mercedes. Can't wait for next week. Once again, Mercedes, thanks for coming in and talking to Real World Gardener. It's always a pleasure.